everyone and welcome back to my candy love love life today i'm playing through episode 14 which has just been released um as most of you will know be move have a video policy in place so i cannot show you the full episode but i can post some highlights from it so i'm going to start off with playing nathaniel's route and this is my playthrough where my candy hasn't done anything with Eric. She's just said, no, thank you. So, um, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens in this episode. So let's just get straight into it. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't know where I am at the moment. <laughs> Shoot. It's Nath. Of course. He must be wondering what I'm doing in this alleyway late at night. And even I'm having a hard time believing it, but his best friend was declaring his feelings for me. I don't think, that's the answer he's expecting. What should I do? Pick up already, but what should I say? Shoot. Hey, sweetie, so you've already forgotten me, although it's not like you to disappear without warning. It's almost as if he suspects something. Now I'm definitely stressing. You haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> well, not in this place or anyway. In theory, there is no way he could know anything. But by spending so much time around criminals, <laughs> He's developed a real instinct for detecting lies. I'm not comfortable. Hello, I can't hear you very well. Well, it's okay. I just wanted to let you know we have a surprise guest. Uh, uh okay. Who? Kim. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be. Kim came to see me. Cool, huh? I just wanted to know if you'll be home for dinner. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. Do you want me to pick something up on my way? No? Okay, see you in a bit. Phew, this surprise visit from Kim is perfect. <laughs> we spent the evening talking with her. Nathan was happy to see his old friend. We didn't even talk about his investigation much. It was a pretty good sign. He went to bed exhausted, but happy. And I was extremely relieved, even if it's just a brief respite. I barely slept, and I'm already back in front of the cafe. I don't even see the time pass. I'm too lost in my thoughts. All right, I guess I'm going to leave it there for a bit, and I'll be back when Nathaniel's in the picture again. Oh, okay, that was like almost instantly. <laughs> um, okay, hello, Nath. Is everything all right? If I can come by now, uh, sure, I guess so, but what for? I know that I haven't even done anything wrong in this playthrough, but I'm still scared. Okay, I won't insist. Yes, I'll come as soon as I can, I promise. And he's going to be like, well, I booked us a trip to the mountains. Nina, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to let you hold down the fort again. For some mysterious reason, Nath wants me to come to the police station as soon as possible. Yeah, that's strange. <laughs> Will you keep me posted? And don't worry, I've got things here. Thanks, Nina. Oh, you're just the best. All right, let's go see what's going on. Hello, I'm Eri. I have a meeting with Inspector Corello. Inspector Corello? What? One minute. What? Is this his last name? I'm so confused right now. One minute. I'll tell him you're here. He'll come to get you. His name was something completely different. Like his last name. I'm so confused. Okay. <laughs> Everything all right? You don't look too good. What's going on? I, it's a bit complicated. I'll explain. Please do. Come to our office. Er <laughs> okay. This is, this is, they're setting this up like it's going to be a big thing where he knows about Candy and Nate and Eric, but it's not going to be. I swear it's not. It's, this is, they can't. This is B-Move. They're not going to do it like that. <laughs> Come to our office. Eric is waiting for us. Oh, shoot. I didn't think Eric would be here too. I hope that he wouldn't have said something to Nath, would he? When I came into their office, he jumped and looked away. <laughs> this is so awkward. That said, he composed himself rather quickly. Nath didn't notice a thing. Well, I don't think so anyway. Thanks for coming so quickly. It's about our investigation. Of course it is. Well, that's reassuring, but it doesn't explain why they both look so nervous. All right, here we go. So Nath has just showed up at the Crazy Bear. And Ryan's here as well. <laughs> hey, Ryan, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Sweetie, I have a little surprise for you. I know it won't be enough to erase this day, but... Oh, Eerie, you're having some problems. And I've been here only thinking, about, thinking of myself. 
Forget about it. I'll tell you some other time. I think that I need some time too. Well, I'll leave you two alone. I hope things will be all right. Have a nice evening. Okay, so I've pretty much just skipped through the whole part with the drug lord bust and all that crap because (laughs) to me, it's not that interesting. So I think that finally we're going to get into the actual couple time with Nathaniel. So let's see what happens. Um, A surprise, hey? I will say that's exactly what I need. What is it? Well, it depends if it's a good or bad surprise. Luckily, I think I know what it is. You have to follow me. We have to arrive somewhere before closing time. That's why I'm in a bit of a hurry. This is quite mysterious, but it's perfect. Just what I need to keep my mind off things. I closed the cafe and I followed him to the shop street. Where are you bringing us? Are we going shopping? Are you taking me shopping for a snowsuit because we're going to the mountains? I didn't get an answer. I guess I'll find out when we are there. And it looks like Lee's shop. Mm-hmm. What a surprise. You want to offer me a winter coat? They're beautiful, but it's not the right season. Not here, but since I've planned a weekend getaway to the mountains, I think that even since I missed that dinner, I've wanted to make it up to you. Even ever since (laughs) so maybe this will help you to take your mind off things what do you say it's a great idea exactly what i need thank you so much my love oh thank god i don't have to pay for it (laughs) all right i'll be a hit on the slopes with this it was a good idea to come here of course the mountains won't solve all my problems the altitude helps to keep them at a distance the scenery is so refreshing Plus, not thinking about the cafe is doing me a lot of good. Nina was in on the secret about this weekend surprise. I'm sure she's handling things like a boss. It's been so long since I've put on ski boots. I love skiing. And I'm not the only one. Nathan's sliding down the slopes like a pro. It's as if he was born with skis on his feet. You're just getting here? Well, I guess I'm a bit rusty too. Go ahead, make fun of me. You don't think I noticed your celebration after you passed that instructor in front of their students. He was dawdling. It's nice to show off while side-slipping. But that's not how to take the turns. Everything is in the hips. You're enjoying yourself, aren't you? (laughs) A real kid. Sorry, as soon as I set my feet on skis, I lose all reason. When it's your weekend, above all. Starting now, you'll be the guide, okay? I'll follow you. No way. You're burning with so much impatience to get going that you'll melt the snow. I know you. I've had enough fun. Come on, let's ski together now. Are you sure? (laughs) I wouldn't want you to be frustrated. I'm sure. Let's go. We stopped from time to time to enjoy the scenery. It was amazing. It had been so long since I'd seen him so relaxed. When I think about it, I'm so lucky. Moments like this reassure me (laughs) that I did the right thing by not responding to Eric's advances. (laughs) I'm just thinking about my other playthrough. I still wonder if we should talk about it. Well, after all, I'm not to blame for anything. I just don't want to ruin this beautiful moment for that. We'll see. For now, I'm just going to enjoy the slopes. Oh, we haven't been this way yet, and there are three slopes after this flag. I'm going to turn right. I can't really see what's ahead, but I'll manage. (laughs) I'm going to do that. I'm going to go straight, a calm ride down, perfect. I'm going to turn left. The slope looks a little more challenging, but doable without any risk. Oh, let's go for a little bit more challenging, but not the one where we can't actually see what's there. Or, actually, now I'm curious. Okay, no, I'm going to go for the first one, because now I want to (laughs) know. Oops, where am I? (laughs) Yes, where is the station? I'm completely lost. What an idiot. My dear, what a coincidence. I didn't know you skied. I wonder if we see different people depending on the way we go. Who is this? Oh, okay, maybe not. (laughs) And on Black Diamond runs too. I can see that the taste for danger runs in the family. Uh, To be honest, I wasn't exactly looking for her. Come now, don't be modest. You know, when I was your age, this is where I trained for the Olympic Games. What? You were that good? I didn't know. Almost, yes, but I let everything go for an Argentinian painter with beautiful eyes. Of course you did. That year, I spent a wonderful time in Buenos Aires. Unfortunately, when we said our goodbyes and I came back, the coach didn't want to hear any of my excuses. I wonder why. There are Olympic Games every four years, right? 
While enchanted meetings, who knows how many one gets in a lifetime? Do you want a piece of advice, my Aerie? Always listen to your heart. It's the secret to eternal youth, and you only live once, right? I'll try to remember that, auntie, but right now my heart isn't the problem. <laughs> Rather my legs. This run is much too steep, and I don't have your experience. Hmm. It's true that without regular training, it will take you directly to the emergency room. <laughs> it's not called the slope of broken bones for nothing. Oh, God. Oh, I know. Why don't you walk down with ski boots? I think I would prefer trying to snowplow down. If that's the problem, the only problem, just take this pair of moon boots. Oh, how convenient. I always keep an extra pair in my backpack in case I want to change outfits. I'll make do with my Yeti boots this afternoon. Here, try these. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go check them out. Well, wow, these boots are definitely interesting. <laughs> hey, they're a perfect fit. They are so sparkly too. They are designer moon boots, you know, a limited series. Well, with that, you're all ready to go down without getting any boo-boos. Just turn right at the end of the run. I have to get going. My group is going to start to freeze, and I am their guide after all. See you later, my dear. See you, auntie. I owe you big time. You're a real fairy godmother. All right. We went down a few more slopes together, and then went back to the chalet, exhausted. In situations like this, there's nothing better than a hot bath to recuperate. I think it's been years since I've done this. I came out of the bathroom totally relaxed and ready to find my man, who wasn't there, of course. <laughs> Luckily, the mystery only lasted five minutes, after which he came back holding two big bags. I thought you would still be in your bath. I went to pick us up some delicious, some stuff for a delicious meal. <laughs> some delicious for a stuffed meal. <laughs> I'll take care of everything. Just settle yourself down on the sofa and I'll start a fire. He gave me a little kiss and then got to work on the chimney. He really wants for this moment to be perfect. But for the evening to really be up to his expectations. Should I be completely honest on my end? And talk to him about what happened with Eric? Well, nothing really happened. If we don't talk about it now, I guess I can forget about having honesty be a part of our relationship. Oh... Well, I'll make do. He's put too much into this weekend for me to ruin this moment. Sweetie, wait, I need to tell you something. I'm going to not say anything just for this run, but during the Eric one... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I kind of want to do it opposite. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God, I don't know what I want to do. I'm so confused. What am I going to do? Oh, I need to think about this. Okay, so I'm, st I'm still not sure, but I think that... I'm going to choose B and see what happens. I don't even know if she'll actually say anything because, you know, she has a habit of trying to say stuff, but it never actually happens. So we'll see. Oh, that bad? I thought we were here to relax. It can't wait. I don't think so. No. Well, let me reassure you. It may not be as bad as it seems, but something happened that I have to talk to you about. I've been hesitating to tell you for a week and it's starting to weigh on me. It's about Eric. The other night he came to the cafe after closing and he was expecting something to happen between him and I. Huh? What? Eric? <laughs> My partner Eric? Are you serious? That? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Let me reassure you, nothing happened, alright? But we saw each other again to clear things up and he was quite clear. I think that he fell in love with me. <laughs> I really hesitated before telling you, but I don't know. I felt like if I didn't tell you, it was as if I was cheating on you, even platonically. And when I see all the trouble you went through for us, I figured that you and I deserve absolute honesty. I hope that you aren't angry with me. I know he's your best friend and... No, of course I'm not angry. <laughs> with you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Eric, damn, of all the women in the city, he had to make a declaration to you. You know, I think it's mostly an expression of his current and recent confusion. Thanks, that's flattering. <laughs> you mean that I don't deserve a declaration? <laughs> I'm not going to pick that one. I'm going to pick A. <laughs> I think he focused something on me after his divorce and everything. I would really like to share your concern, but this time I'm having a hard time seeing it as anything besides a betrayal. 
I didn't want to make you angry or ruin the moment, but don't worry, you did the right thing. You know me, I prefer honesty as well. I just feel so betrayed, but at least I know how much I can count on you. And the rest doesn't really matter in comparison. He got close to me and kissed me passionately in front of the chimney. I'm sorry for Eric, but I don't regret having talked about it. Absolutely not. Well, when our lips separated, his mind was elsewhere. He didn't say anything for a while. I stared at him. I was waiting for a reaction. Nate, say something, please. I know this isn't easy to hear, and for what it's worth, Eric felt bad about things in relation to you, so he should. <laughs> him and I will have to have a little chat. You think you know someone, but everything is always complicated, right? Well, with one exception, all this confirms what I've known for a long time already. That no matter what happens, I can always count on you, on your love, your support and your loyalty. <laughs> of course, you didn't think that. No, but I know this year hasn't been easy for either of us, and I know myself. I have... A complicated relationship with myself and I do have a tendency of pushing away those who love me but you have never doubted us you know you are my only anchor in the middle of all this it doesn't matter that many have already disappointed me you are enough to make me always want to love more you are the only one I need with you by my side I'm always excited to live what's next when he said that tears came to my eyes tears of raw emotion it's rare for him to open up like this, but the most deepest feelings don't care about long speeches. That's why I answered him in the only way that was needed. By devouring his lips with a deep kiss, burning with a more vibrant passion than ever. Yes, illustration. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, this makes me feel so bad about my Eric playthrough. Oh my god. Which I'm going to play next, by the way, but I feel real bad about it. I almost wish I hadn't played this one first. Okay, but that's really cute. It doesn't matter what the future will bring. I know that we will face it together. If he sometimes has a hard time loving himself, I'll love him for the both of us, and that will never change. Oh, man. Oh, that was cute. Oh, now I feel so bad. All right, so that was Nate's playthrough um and next I'm gonna get to the one with Eric's playthrough and I think I'm gonna play through and tell Nath because I want to see what happens so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one bye